obviously my channel's name um, and welcome to my channel so you're either a subscriber or you just clicked on it because of the title either way thank you so much for being here um i've been wanting to make this video for a few weeks um i started filming this morning and i was extremely ranty <laughs> And I have a feeling I could get that way a little bit now. I'm really tired. So, you know, when you like don't have the ability to think properly when you're really, really tired. Um, yeah, that's me right now. I have a five month old. Uh, he doesn't sleep through the night, which that's fine. But that's why I am tired. And I cracked myself a little beer. It's a local beer uh, to Edmonton here. Uh, the brewery is called Alley Cat. And this... Uh, beer in particular is the apricot and it's um a um, apricot beer so if I decide to do future videos on just like things on my mind and just chatty type videos my plan is to have a beer because yeah you just need it I'm not drinking because I have a child so I just want to put that out there I'm not like oh I'm mom who needs wine not that I judge those who are like that but um yeah I'm just having it because I feel like it and I'm talking about a topic that really gets me worked up a little bit. So I have always been the type to compare myself to other people. Um, basically just thinking like I'm less than because you see people's highlight reels. Instagram has always been called people's highlight reels, right? We all know that. The thing with YouTube is that there's so many amazing moms on YouTube. So YouTube mamas, right? Who have really big followings, who are, their aesthetic is perfect and everything and so there's going to be like two sides to the spectrum here with how people judge those individuals so they're either judging the person's aesthetic and how you know they have sponsored content their house is all white they um wear all the perfect clothes everything is linked all the time and people who hate that so much there's the other side who uh understands it who maybe picks and chooses a little bit of what they want to hear or who are just like, hey, you do you, and I'm just gonna watch you, or I like you, you know, whatever. I'm more so on this side, but kind of in the middle too, a little bit. The part I, I hate is the lack of transparency and honesty. So I recently discovered a YouTube channel of a girl who talks about um, other YouTubers. She's not like rude, like some can be like, you know, really bashing someone in their lifestyle. She basically just shares like, oh, this is their Instagram story. This is what their YouTube channel is talking about. And just talking from the point of a viewer, like, hey, why can't you be honest about this? Why, why do they say this? Why do they say that? And kind of giving her tips, which I actually found like really helpful. And it helped me just like a ton in my journey of not comparing myself anymore, because it's, not healthy first of all for your like mental state not sure if you saw my other previous video but I shared about my postpartum depression and anxiety and a lot does come from comparison so yeah I made some notes here so I didn't get off topic and too ranty the first point the first thing that helped me to stop comparing myself and why you should also stop comparing yourself if you are is that most have help so they have help in the way of nannies in-laws, their own parents, siblings, uh, assistants. We just don't really know about it. So there are people who will share like little snippets, like little Instagram stories or something talking about, oh, my daughter was here. My son was here. Uh, my husband's parents came over to help with this, but it's not like full transparency. So you'll see a lot of day in the lives, whether that's newborn, working from home, mom, like those kind of things, but they'll never share rarely, I shouldn't say never, but they'll rarely share about when they actually got help in their day, like whether that was dropping or picking the kids up or whatever. Um, so you, you are led to believe that they're doing it all themselves and how is she doing it? How is she planning? How is she sending out emails to her subscriber list and like all these different things? Um, she's not doing it on her own. There's no way there there's, she's not. So I don't want to bring names out because all these YouTubers I watch and I actually really enjoy, but I learned to just pick and choose what, what I find fact and what I don't. So yeah, just really noticing those things. So if you pick up on little things when you're watching them, it's like sometimes subtle. You kind of sometimes have to follow them on Instagram in order to get a full rounded picture of their life, but they're not doing it all. So stop comparing yourself in those ways and thinking that you have to do it all as well, because unless you have help like them, then there's <laughs> seriously no point in comparing. The next point kind of goes with the first and that they have their husbands at home with them. 
So majority, I won't say all for any of these things. I can never say all, but majority of them have their husbands at home. They either make enough from their YouTube income that they are able to bring their husbands home and their husbands do like behind the scenes type of stuff to help them with their day as in like, you know, taking the kids so they can film those kind of things or their husband is home due to the pandemic, right? So a lot of people are choosing to work from home right now or their companies are kind of like making them work from home. People like myself, my husband works a job that is impossible to do from home. So he has been gone the entire time. So during my pregnancy, I was by myself all the time. And then now with our son, I'm by myself all the time, obviously, except for his days off. But I was often comparing my husband to their husbands. And my, I have a great husband. I'm really thankful that he like does so much around the house. He's present most of the time <laughs> and you know cell phones kind of get in the way sometimes but as they do with all of us yes yeah, so I was comparing myself or my husband to those like online type husbands right and it's not a fair comparison whatsoever and I started taking a step back and being like okay so if Eric were home say if I made enough money from YouTube or any kind of side gig or something and he was home with me would things be better would my day be a little bit easier and so I was like doing this evaluation thinking like yeah uh, he could take an extra long lunch break and I could shower, you know, something like that. Or he could, I don't know, rock our son to sleep and send out emails with work, you know, stuff like that, that is able to happen from home. Like I get there's some jobs obviously that you'd have to lock yourself in your office and there's no way that like, or your husband had to lock himself in their office. There's no way that he could help you with your children. But I know I could get some flack for this and people will be like, oh, you have no idea my situation. And I don't. But a husband working from home is gonna be totally different than a husband who leaves the house. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. I, and, and I'm sure a lot of us, like myself, have husbands who are out of the home working or they're working like out of town or something. So there's no way to possibly compare yourself to anybody online. A YouTube mom, this is what I'm mainly talking about. No way to ever compare yourself to those people because their husbands are with them all the time. So yeah, that's, it's just like, aha things and maybe some people already know this and they're just like duh why wouldn't you know that but it's just it's insane and this goes for like majority of youtubers um my third point is youtube is their full-time job so they don't have anything else you know that maybe they have an mlm on the side or um they have their own little like boutique or something but youtube is where they started so where they got the majority of their income from and that's what i'm saying is like they're they work from home with their own thing, their, their own boss, they make their own schedule, they decide what they want to do. Yeah, they'll have deadlines with like sponsorships, sorry, that was my phone popping. Um, they'll have deadlines with sponsorships and everything like that, but they do make their own schedule, they work from home. There's and, the, and they work for themselves. There's just like nothing like it. And there's so much more freedom with that. There's so much more or less stress. It doesn't mean it's not stressful. It's hard to find time. Like I'm just starting out on YouTube. And even me, it's hard to find time to film a video where I can have quiet in the background. Like right now I can hear my son with my husband. Um, they're playing, but like he prefers me as babies often prefer their mothers a lot of the time. I'm, I'm not on all of him, but you know, okay. I still have to find the time for it. And I... I'm on maternity leave. It's like, it's, it's so I get it, but also, yeah, it's their full gig. The fourth point that really helped me was that sponsorships slash PR packages mean that they are sent those products and those are products I cannot afford. So yes, I could budget um, and save up and buy that item, but I'm not going to buy those items because they are so expensive. So if they're sent an item and they're on a PR list, I mean, that's amazing. So I'm not putting them down for being on a PR list. I think it's amazing what they have done, but certain products can make your life easier. For example, the SNU, a lot of us cannot afford the SNU, but YouTubers are often sent it, which basically goes into my next point. Everything is a write-off for them. So if they are filming a haul, for example, that is a complete write-off. So as long as they're showing the items in their video and it's like featured in the title and stuff like that, they are getting to write that off. So everything they get to write off, they are linking their sweater. They can write that off because that's part of their business expense because that's just their like wardrobe, right? They can write off their vehicle. They can write off so much. You can write off a portion of your utilities um anything like housing costs since you work from home you can write off a part of your total overall house cost not too sure about a mortgage but i know with like your bills and like your cell phone is completely written off all that kind of stuff everything is a write-off they are sent items for free and the things that they aren't said that they buy from with their own money is a write-off 
okay? So the reason why they're showing us products is because they're writing it off, where it's not like, how do they have all this disposable income that they can just keep buying and showing us all these hauls and everything like that? They're writing it off. They get money back at the end of the year or however taxes work in your country. It's insane. So I mean, it's great for them again, but there's no way to compare to people who are sent items and who write everything off. And my last point is that their lifestyle isn't realistic for most people. But personally, I pick and choose what I can apply to my life. For example, if I'm watching a mom with her morning routine and she has all these great products, yes, they all don't apply to me, but say she has an espresso. So I have an espresso. My husband bought it for me for my birthday last year. Um, and she's sharing like a coffee recipe, I can go and buy those items for the coffee recipe. So I'll pick and choose what I like. Or if she has like one of those like head wrap things, you know, like when you're washing your face at the end of the night and you don't want to get like your hair is all wet. Um, there was a girl, Alex, she had it in one of her videos and I went on Amazon and I bought it because it was affordable. It was something that made sense for me to have and I like having it. So I just personally pick and choose. I don't see their whole video like day in the life. I say day in life because there's so many of those, right? Um, or just anything with their videos, I don't see them and then go, oh my gosh, like they're so thin, they have all these clothes, they are so amazing, blah, 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 blah. I know, like all my points before, that things are a write-off, they have help, they can afford it because they're scented or it was a write-off or whatever, or they have just a huge income from YouTube and their side gigs that came because of YouTube. I'm just going to pick the things that apply to my life that I can realistically grasp. I'm not going to compare myself to um, this woman that I'm watching, so many great people, but for example, their babies sleep through the night, which is amazing. And I just mentioned my son doesn't sleep through the night. So why would I compare myself to somebody whose child doesn't? So I completely eliminate that. Like I watch it, but I eliminate it from my mind and don't even think about their routine really, other than maybe like the pre-bedtime routine if they shared that, because it will only make me feel bad about myself. Like I'll compare my son to their child and, I'll feel like he's less than even though he's not because developmentally all children are in different places, right? So yeah, this definitely <laughs> sounded very ranty, but I hope that if you're somebody like myself who compared your, yourself to YouTube moms um, and it stresses you out that you just really hear all my points and just work on or really try not to compare yourself because there's no need to. There, 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 there's no need, seriously. There's a, a amazing YouTuber that I love to watch. Her name is Kyleen Rodriguez, I think. <laughs> she has talked about when she's like vlogging, she'll talk about how she was vlogging and then was feeling way too overwhelmed and then she had to stop filming and, you know, she loves watching like Milena and all that stuff. And I think... Uh, she is somebody who maybe doesn't realize how much help all these people have. And I know she did a video recently saying that she's willing to accept help, which is really great. But a lot of people don't realize the life that these YouTubers have and how it's just not attainable to just like the everyday Joe. And it doesn't mean that when someone gets big and they can afford those things now that suddenly they're not relatable. It's amazing. I'm sure anyone who does YouTube wishes that that could be their full-time income and they don't have to leave their house and go to work. They want to be doing this full-time. Yeah, it's fun and it's great and it's great to get information out there, but like we all, generally speaking, I guess, would love to just be our own bosses. It's 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 like a dream, but it's, for some of us, it just it won't happen. And that's totally cool. But yeah, so I hope that you gained some wisdom from that. I hope I wasn't too annoying sounding <laughs> and too ranty. I didn't, I like literally only took like four sips of my beer because I was so like, ooh, I need to get these points out. But if you liked what you saw in this video, please like it so it gets suggested to other people. And then consider subscribing. I said in a previous video that these are kind of like lifestyle videos, mommy videos. They are kind of mommy, but it's just me. So I'm um, like a 32 year old woman on maternity leave with my first child and just live in life, you know, and so I'll share whatever applies to my life and maybe someone out there will relate. So thank you so much for watching and I'll have another video next week. Bye guys.